hi guys and welcome back to my channel so we're doing another oily skin approved it seems like i've only been doing foundation reviews for like the entire summer and now going into fall it's no different so many foundations to review and today we're gonna be trying a new one for us kevin up one this is the first time i'm gonna be using a product from his brand and i'm pretty excited about it so we know kevin is a bit high end so so, you know, it mightn't be for everybody, but I still wanted to try it because they did send it to me to try. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm excited about it, actually. I've heard good things about his products. So we'll see how we feel today. Now, if this is your first time watching The Beat, welcome. And if this is not your first time, you already know what it is. Oh, God. You can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That would help me out a lot if you would subscribe to your girl's channel. And also put your bell on for notifications because YouTube be playing with me. And yeah, let's go. I'm gonna actually do my eyes on camera today because someone asked me to do a purple look with the Jackie Anna palette. You know, we've been using this palette for like all of August and now we're in September, I'm still using it. I'm gonna be doing a purple look. So I'm gonna start with Inker. Wow, Pinka is very, very pigmented mm -hmm. as this shade right here. It is super pigmented. And of course I use Brow MVP to do my brows. Y'all, I cannot wait to get my brows waxed. Like, ooh, they are in a mess. And then I'm gonna go in with Big Wig, this purple shade right here. And I'm gonna concentrate that more lower crease. Actually gonna add a little bit of credit, this brown shade in that crease too, just to darken it up just a little bit more. Then I'm gonna go in with Supreme because I wanna pink up my crease just a little bit, like to the top of the crease up here. Supreme is like a neon pink, it's really nice. Kinda just blend out the edges on the top here, giving very much so ombre vibes. And y'all, I feel like my lighting has not been the best, so I just want to apologize in advance for that. I am working on it. Uh, some videos, the lighting is super bright, and then others, it just isn't, and it's going back and forth. Like, <sighs> I'm on the struggle bus with this lighting right now, but I'm really trying to rectify that situation. So now we're going to go into Shocking Ton. That is this purple right here. I'm gonna put that on the lid, my dear. Okay, I'm loving the eyes. I'm not gonna do my inner tear of it just yet. I'm taking Trooper Black in Kat Von D liner. Just gonna give myself a little, little line, no wing. I don't even know if I know how to do a wing anymore. Then for mascara, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever smoky extravagant okay. so we're gonna jump into the foundation review so i did pat mcgrath and that really sparked me to try different types of foundations and also a little bit more high-end foundations so i am gonna be showing you guys the kevin Aquan foundation bomb so it comes in this box and it is a cream formula it retails for 52 dollars. it comes with a brush like so it comes in this you know packaging very basic you get how much 0.7 ounces in here but it is a cream formula it says it's a full coverage foundation with an innovative silky balm texture fortified with hyaluronic acid for a flawless finish in an extended shade range so i believe there are 20 shades of this foundation and apparently kevin aquan is really excited about their 20 shades because i don't know if their complexion products usually come in like six shades or what but they are excited about this 20 for some reason and i got the darkest shade which is deep fb 16 so when i went to sephora's website and i put in my fenty beauty 450 which i always do this is the shade that i got the one right above that is Deep 15. And I don't know, maybe I should have gotten Deep 15. Any hoozy. Let's just see what's popping, okay? What else do they say about it, actually, before we move on? They said it's a matte finish. It's good for normal combination and oily skin. It has hyaluronic acid, which hydrates the skin. It has antioxidant, vitamin E, protects and conditions skin. It also has avocado oil, which supports the skin barrier and protects against external damage. So they're doing an anti-pollution type claim there which is pretty cool i 
guess. I'm kind of excited that it came with the brush. So we'll see how this brush works. This brush is very, very soft. It's pretty dense too. So I think I'm going to really, really like that. So yeah, let us just get into it. So I'm going to use the brush and, you know, just put it onto my skin. So right off the bat, I can tell that it's a little too dark for me. But that's okay. I only got one shade and I think I could finesse it. Another thing I would like to say is I don't know what undertone this is. And let me see if they say on Sephora's website. I may have to go to Kevin Aquan's website to see if they talk about undertone over there because... This is giving me neutral vibes. Yeah, this is too dark for me, but we're gonna finesse it. Their Etherealist Skin Illuminating Foundation only has 16 shades. So this one has 50, this one has 20 and they are ecstatic about it. <laughs> what? I don't even understand how you could be ecstatic about 20 shades of a complexion product. And they even talk about, you know, finding your shade should be easy. So, I mean... Wow. Okay, so it says that a deep 16 is deep complexion with pink undertones. 15 is deep complexion with neutral undertones. I definitely don't think I'm 14 because the picture of the girl here, she's pretty light. I mean, yeah. It doesn't look that bad on camera, y'all. But in the mirror, the shade is just dark. But what I could appreciate is it is smoothing my skin a lot. Like it's giving me a really nice blur. So I like that. So you know what? Um, I'm very excited to see how this will do with oil control because I am not really a cream foundation type of girl because usually cream products, you know, they slide and slip and move everywhere. But this is formulated as a matte foundation and it's looking very matte right now, actually. So y'all, what if I fall in love with this foundation? I may have to just go to Sephora and get the 15. I know it doesn't look bad on camera, but in my mirror, girl, it's not looking right. Brush, loving it. Especially for like on the go. This is looking really good on camera, I'm not going to lie. So let me zoom out just a little bit. It's looking good on camera, so. <laughs> I would say the coverage is medium. I think they say that it's full. I wouldn't really say that this is full coverage. I'm going to color correct around my mouth because that area of my face to me holds very gray and I don't want that. So I'm using Fenty Beauty just to color correct around my mouth a little bit. And we'll see how products layer on top of this foundation as well. Okay, I feel like that layered pretty well. You know, it's looking kind of crazy right now because yeah, I have to finish the rest of my face. Then I'm gonna take Fenty Beauty 400 to do under my eyes. Y'all, I think I might be liking this foundation. I ain't gonna lie. I'm liking that it's so matte. Like I haven't even powdered. And I don't think I'm going to excessively powder. Even though I like to look casket ready, I don't want to go crazy. Like, I don't want to go overboard. So I've been killing Mocha Mami. So I'm going to be using the Saharan 2 blush palette from Juice Place. Abby, I want a deeper contour today. And for blush, I'm going to take Zane from that same palette. Do a nice pinky blush. So face is done and I am back. And y'all, I'm actually really loving how this foundation is looking. I didn't powder my entire face. I just powdered my under eyes because, you know, we need to set that concealer there. And I am actually loving this. Now that I've done everything, I think that the color actually doesn't look that bad. Um, it is giving me a little bit of a olive undertone in my mirror. But on camera, you can't even see that. And I absolutely am in love with this brush. I think traveling with this would be really, really good because it's not liquid. So you could, you know, take it with you onto the plane, have your little brush with you. So easy. And if you don't need to powder it, what? Even better. Um, I will see if it's worth it in a couple hours. So yeah, this foundation is cream. And I usually do not like cream foundations, but you know, it's not the step out of the box, right? Like... Let's try something new. Even though I don't like creams in general, let me see, this one might be the game changer. So I'm kind of trying to get myself out of that box of, oh, 
it, it's like this, so it must be like that. No, that's not always true, right? And then you're kind of like missing out on some things that probably you would love. So that is what I'm trying to do more of now. All right, guys, so it's been about four plus hours that I've had the foundation on. I have not blotted. This is how my skin is looking. I think it is looking pretty good. Um, I actually like the shade match. I know I didn't show you guys any in natural light because it was super dark by the time I was finished with my makeup. So I can even show you in, in sunlight. But I think that this shade is pretty good for me. It's not like the best match that I've ever found, but it could definitely work. Um, so yeah, I like this foundation. I'm gonna give it four out of five stars. And that is like rare for me to give a cream foundation such high stars, but I feel like this foundation really stood up. I um a little greasy, you know, not crazy. I'm just gonna blot the brush. I feel like I'm really going to enjoy this foundation in the winter. This may be, just may be, my winter go-to foundation because my skin does feel very like hydrated another thing i wanted to say this foundation is very lightweight so you don't feel like anything is on your skin and i could appreciate that i don't really like foundations where you could feel it on your skin it just feels uncomfortable this is super lightweight um and you can see when i had just put it on it was so matte so i didn't even need to like powder down i feel like in the summertime though i would definitely powder you know <sighs> for just kind of like sprung up on us it's cold outside right now you know so summer is done <laughs> yeah summer is over so in the very height of summer i would definitely powder this foundation down a lot like to make sure that it just stays intact um now where it's a little cooler i don't even think you need you know crazy amount i don't think you I don't think you need a lot of powder in order to you know keep this looking fresh so yeah that was my first time blotting since i put it on and i actually really really like this foundation i didn't think that i would but it it, it has surprised me it has really surprised me you already know i love the jackie ida palette this purple is just calling my name like this purple look came out really really good um so yeah, if you haven't picked up Jackie and Paz yet, I definitely recommend it. I say go get that palette, okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. You know you can follow me on my social media platforms. It's Beat on Instagram and Beat Inc. on Facebook. Without further ado, have a great night. Bye.